Waterfront Concerts has heard plenty of noise complaints over its 10-year run in downtown Bangor, but it's not the only complaint it hears. Occasionally we do have people that complain about language, and it's similar to when people complain about certain types of music. Some types of music get more complaints than others. And Tanya Emery hears a lot of them. As Bangor's Community and Economic Development Director, she works closely with Waterfront Concerts. But when it comes to explicit language, there's not much the city can do. The city does not have an ordinance that prohibits profanity or public speech that contains profanity. Um, nothing like that on the books. No ordinance, but Waterfront Concert promoter Alex Gray wants artists to know how many homes in public spaces the sound can reach. Our discussion with them is that they'd be a good neighbor, uh, but at the same time, you know, the First Amendment does exist for a reason. Many performers using their First Amendment right at last weekend's Impact Festival, a two-day event featuring many heavy metal bands raising money for suicide awareness. For Gray, using explicit language to bring attention to the issue was okay. I think ultimately if it's properly placed and, and executed um, properly, then it can be. If it's just a tirade, then that's a very different story. Even for a great cause, that sound can travel. It is hard when the impact of that profanity does go beyond the venue because of the audio. I think a couple things that we're working on are going to help. One thing, a system to keep sound levels better contained to just the venue to be installed for the coming seasons. In Bangor, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.